Hey y'all, my beautiful people out there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you know, it's almost uh, pretty much summertime now. <laughs> and uh, we got a new trend going on for the fellas. Um, they're calling it the hoochie daddy shorts. Ooh, sexy. Sexy, right? Um, hmm. I don't know, fellas. Well, what do y'all think? Are y'all going to be participating in this uh, hoochie daddy season with the hoochie daddy shorts showing off the thigh meat? Um, you know what? I guess there's, uh, there's according to some of the, the social media posts that I've seen, I guess there are certain thigh requirements that you have to have before you're eligible uh, to uh, participate in hoochie daddy season season I can barely even talk um but I guess there's uh there's certain requirements for this you know you, your thighs gotta look a certain way you know you, you gotta have a certain uh amount of thigh meat uh to 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 wear the hoochie daddy shorts so y'all I'm gonna be posting a couple of uh pictures here and there of a couple uh hoochie daddies hoochie daddy shorts <laughs> I, I don't even know how, how I'm, I'm just like talking over my words, but I'm going to post a couple of pictures of, uh, of what this looks like. Y'all. And once again, I'm just here. I'm just sharing information. I'm just giving my perspective. You can do whatever you want to do. You think, however you feel, however you think, say whatever you feel. Um, I just personally, I got a couple of things I want to say. First thing I want to say is I feel like this uh, hoochie daddy um, shorts phenomenon that we're seeing <laughs> is a, a direct result of um, a very blatant feminization of our men that we've been seeing over these past few years. Um, I think it was either last year or the year before we were, they introduced the male romper and I'm going to put a picture of that up too, where, so it's basically a onesie before it ha had only been made for women wearing like onesies, um, or rompers. Um, but then they had came out with, I guess, men sizes. So now we're seeing men in hoochie daddy shorts used to be hoochie mama now it's hoochie daddy so y'all um I just want to say this um as a, a heterosexual woman who is attracted to heterosexual men um there is nothing masculine about a romper or um, really high in up in the thigh shorts. As a woman, especially as a feminine woman who's attracted to a masculine man, I I don't. If I'm looking at a man, right, and I'm looking at the things that I find to be attractive as a woman being attracted to a man, I am not looking at your legs, honey. I'm not looking at your legs, your thighs, none of that. There's a reason why a lot of guys skip leg day in the gym. And that's because they know that women ain't looking there. Okay. <laughs> women as a woman, I'm looking at how clean cut you are. I'm looking at your, your confidence. I'm looking at your how well I can tell you take care of yourself. So like, you know, I can, I can tell that you, you know, that you hit, hit the gym and, you know, you, you got a nice, you know, nice wide, broad shoulders, some nice arm muscles, some abs, you know, the chest is tight, um, you know, nice, you know, nice haircut or however you do your hair, you know, that's nice and neat, nice facial hair or whatever that those, but your thighs, baby, baby. I'm not looking at your thighs. And I feel like, look, 
y'all, we got to realize, and, I, and I'm going to get a little bit more into sexuality in a minute because I, I don't want to confuse the, I don't want to confuse um, what I'm talking about into sexuality as, as a, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. But y'all, the things that are, that are attractive in men are not the same things that are attractive in women. So the things that a woman, a woman, at least most women, at least as far as the ones that I've met, what they find attractive in a man is not the same thing as what a man would be attracted to in a woman. They're, the sexes are different, y'all. Let, I know over these past few years, we've got, we've blurred the lines between the sexes and we've, you know, gotten crossed up and mixed up and all of that. But y'all, when, when are we going to stop? Like when, when, where do you, where do you actually draw the line? Or maybe there is no, a line anymore. I don't know. But for me and many others like me who like a masculine man that, that love the things that make a man who he is and what makes a man a man. Um, I, it, the, you know, I get homosexual vibes from when I see something like that. And for me, as a woman who is attracted to men who are straight, I would not be attracted to seeing a man in hoochie daddy shorts. Just wouldn't. I would not be attracted to that. And some of the other women that I associate with have also said that they would not be attracted attracted to that. Okay, when 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 you see as a man, when you see a woman who has short shorts on, right? She got a cute cute little nice shape, nice butt. She nice thighs. She works out. Everything's tight in place, looking good. And she's wearing the hoochie mama shorts, or she's wearing some little short shorts. That's sexy, right? You probably like you take a couple double takes, like damn, honey. Women don't do that when it comes to y'all. When it comes to men, I don't take a second look at a man who's wearing hoochie shorts. I'm gonna assume that he wouldn't even be attracted to me. I'm gonna assume that he don't even want a woman. That's, I mean, for real. I'm just, I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just, I'm just saying. I would not assume that a man wearing hoochie daddy shorts or a romper would be a sexually attracted to me as a woman. I'm just saying. So that's what I really wanted to say. So let me, let me just, let me kind of stop it there as far as, you know, physical attractiveness and the differences between what's attractive and a, what attracts a man to a woman and what attracts a woman to a man in a heterosexual perspective. Now, I am not saying that a man who is more effeminate or who is more in touch with his feminine side, who is probably not straight, who, who maybe is either bisexual or homosexual, and who likes more things that are traditionally more feminine. I'm not saying that for those particular gentlemen that wearing hoochie daddy shorts is a, is an issue. Cause honestly, I feel like that's the type of person who something like this is for. So, you know, if those guys wear it, it's like, okay, you know, he, he look cute. That's, that's cute. But if you are, if you, but if you're thinking as a male, a heterosexual male, that want that that's thinking like the women is out here wanting to see thigh meat, somebody got you confused. Cause I, I mean, I've seen women who say, Oh yeah, I'm a holla at the hoochie daddies, but they are joking guys. They're not serious. No woman is like out here looking at men for their thigh meat. Now I'm not saying that a woman doesn't like a man who has an appropriate size, something below the belt. That's a different topic. But the thighs and the legs, honey. Can we just go back to the um to the what happened to the to the to the gray sweatpants? 
what happened to those? I, I quite like the gray sweatpants. I think we should re let's reintroduce those. Matter of fact, y'all know I'm still developing my clothing brand. Um, I'm going to develop some uh, gray sweatpants for men because I think, I think we need to get back into that style. So yeah. Um, and this is something I designed too, y'all. I'm not going to stand up, but um, I'm developing my, my clothing brand. And I think I'm going to add some men's gray sweatpants to my collection. Fall 2022, or maybe winter 2022. It might be a little bit too late for fall. But anyway, y'all, um, you know what? Like I said, this hyper, this hyper feminization of our men um, is kind of starting to trouble me a bit, just only because I am a woman who is very attracted to a masculine man. Like I love a strong, powerful man who is in touch with his masculinity, who is, you know, who, who just, who just enjoys being a man and who's confident in being a man. And honestly, when I see this hyper feminization that that is seems like it's getting more and more and more as the years go on it kind of leaves me a little bit concerned like you know are we eventually going to get to the point where um you know my you know if i if i if i get a, if i have a, a boyfriend he's going to be wearing my clothes or he's going to be wearing clothes that are similar to the ones that i'm wearing and i just don't feel that's just not attractive to me um but I feel like it's becoming more and more of the norm. And I particularly am not for it. I'm sorry if you, you, you can dis disagree with me. You can not like my opinion. You can not like what I'm, anything that I talk about. But at the end of the day, that's how I feel. I do not think that that shit is attractive. I do not see anything attractive about a hyper feminine man. That not for me as a woman who is heterosexual I am not I do not find that attractive I think it's cute for a man who is um who is good who's okay with his sexuality as far as like if he's like I said bisexual or homosexual I think it's cute for that but I'm not attracted to that I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it but if you as a man are out here thinking that women are looking for that men's thigh meat and hoochie daddy shorts. Uh, somebody done told you wrong. Somebody done told you wrong, punk. Yeah. So anyways, y'all, let me know what y'all think, guys. It's, it's starting to get hot outside. Are you rocking the hoochie daddy shorts? Are you going to copy your romper? I mean, um, what do you think? Do you think that you know, do you think that this is a hype, uh, hyper feminine thing that we're, you know, phenomenon that we're seeing getting worse and worse every year? Or do you think it's just not, it's just not even a big deal? I don't know, y'all. Y'all heard what my opinion is and let me know what y'all think.